Good evening, my name is David Lane. I'm with Bulldog Rooter. Today's date is February 3rd, 2019, Super Bowl Sunday. And I'm about to perform a video inspection of the main line of 2917 West Holyoke Avenue here in Spokane, Washington. Called out um, this evening for a backed up main line. Um, found standing water in the shower. Um, downstairs shower. Was able to locate an ink and end of the line clean out. Um, remove the water from the shower pan, clean, uh, pull the clean out cap, and began cabling. Cable to the city sewer and back, and inserted the camera to perform the video inspection. You'll always be able to tell where the bottom of the pipe is by where my camera light is and by where the um, little bits of water are. What we're pulling in, um, the type of pipe we're pulling into, it looks like six inch concrete. The most problematic areas for concrete are the joints as well with most pipes. They just over time the ground uh, settles and it tends to the joints tend to separate and offset. We don't see a lot of that in this pipe. Nice smooth joints. Not a lot of standing water here in the um, concrete which is good. just passing 15 feet from the city sewer. Beautiful grade on this pipe. Concrete is one of the more preferred types in my opinion, and tile seems to be a lot of roots in the joints, and concrete just seems to, it's strong and it lasts a long time. So we have, uh, we'll just call it 28 feet from the city sewer to the beginning of the Orangeburg, so we have 28 feet of concrete. Now Orangeburg is the most volatile, volatile type of pipe we see, um, the least preferred. The bottom of the pipe is in the upper left hand corner of the screen. <clears throat> and just over time, Orangeburg blisters, um, ovalizes, and then eventually collapses. <clears throat> and towards the home is the more prob problematic areas here in this pipe. Here out by the concrete, it looks pretty darn good. It seems to be in a good circle still. Um, not too much valleying down the center of the pipe. You'll see when we get closer to the home on the bottom of the pipe which is at the top of the screen um, it starts to valley here it's starting to a little bit of water standing and chances are those were probably blister blisters growing in the pipe and then with cabling and then you know debris solid waste toilet paper things like that we're getting caught on them um, sent, sent down the cutting blade and knocked it free and then with the back water pressure it flushed out. But you can see kind of where those blisters were at and they got removed. Just over time the pipe literally just deteriorates. And here's the beginning of our cast iron. And we'll call that 49 feet. So we have about 21 feet of Orangeburg. 28 feet of Concrete, 21 feet of Orangeburg. Cast iron stubs out from the house three to five feet. In this case, it'll be three feet because we're right at 51 feet as we're coming up this clean out. So from the bottom of this clean out to the city sewer is 51 feet. And here we are coming up the clean out now. This is the clean out we're working out of right next to the wall and the workbench. Again, my name is David. I'm with Bulldog Rooter. Today's date is February 3rd, 2019, and that will conclude the video inspection of the main line of 2917 West Holyoke Avenue here in Spokane, Washington. Thank you very much for choosing Bulldog Rooter.